What's going on guys? Uh, I just wanted to put together a short little video, hopefully to explain what's been going on for me recently since I have retired the Alexander alias. I've been getting a lot of emails, uh, a lot of comments asking me if I'm still going to be producing music, if I'm still going to be streaming. Um, so hopefully this video can uh, answer some of those questions. Um, I also wanted to discuss the Shrine Sample Pack a little more in detail. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, let me go ahead and switch scenes here. Uh, in the background, I've got an unreleased tune playing from an alias that I kind of kept private. Uh, it's called Vintage Reel. It's a synthwave alias that I put together maybe a year ago. Unfortunately, I've only put out a few tunes and I haven't put a lot of time into the production of this alias, but I really want to put some more time into it because I love synthwave and uh, I've been dying to make more of it. So uh, if you are uh, a lover of synthwave or you just want to follow me in my future music endeavors, I'll go ahead and link this profile, Vintage Reel 80. I'll just link this in the description of this video so you can feel free to follow. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on this though. I want to sort of hit the main topic at hand, which is the Shrine Sample Pack. I mentioned it briefly in my farewell video and I didn't really cover too much of what's inside the folders if you decided to download it. And it's like a five or six gigabyte download. And I know that's like a huge commitment to ask somebody to download a sample pack that's that massive without really them knowing, you know, am I gonna use it in my tunes? Is there a lot of good stuff in there? So hopefully this video will, um, will basically provide some clarity as to what's actually in the pack and help you make that decision if you're going to download it because I know it's a huge download, I'm sorry. It's a lot of stuff. Um, but basically when you when you download the pack, first thing you're gonna see after you uh, extract everything is this text document. It's just another disclaimer uh, talking about those breaks that I sampled. If you do wanna use them, you can. If you don't wanna use them, you don't have to. You know, I, I know a lot of people, they have a, you know, a bad feeling about it. They think that they're stolen breaks, but I don't really think it's stolen. I just think it's sampled material that's available. Just how people are sampling, you know, the think break. I can't tell you how many times people have sampled the think break. But with that being said, I've got FL Studio open in the background here so we can hopefully dive into some of these folders and get to look at some of these samples a little better. So the first folder here, artist song parts, uh, a couple folders, Alexander and Horizon High. These aren't stemmed out tunes. Uh, it's just a few handpicked tunes that uh, we pulled some samples out for you guys just so you can hear how some of the tunes came together. Received a lot of comments about the Limbo series, um, uh, asking about like drum work and things like that. So like if you listen, there's like the main break in the in the first original Limbo, um, the main pad that's throughout the whole tune. Uh, I did a, a, a bit of sampling for the, the fourth uh, Limbo title as well. Um, the Marcus dedication tune. These aren't recreations or anything. It's a direct sample from the original tune. Uh, there's uh, some sampling from Horizon High's works as well, who is now Everlong DMB. Uh, next folder, we've got some atmospheres, some handcrafted atmospheres. I remember putting some of these together actually on stream back when I used to stream on Alexander Official on Twitch. I'll just click through a few of them just to give you guys a general idea how they sound. There's no BPM set to any of these, so you can really throw them in any genre, future garage, drum and bass, uh, ambient music, what have you. Really excited about how these turned out. Awesome. Next folder, construction kits. Super excited about these. Uh, unfortunately, the Future Garage only has a few construction kits just because I didn't spend a lot of time in uh, future, gar uh, future Garage production. Uh, back when we were running the Shrine Music YouTube channel, we uploaded a lot of ambient music, Liquid Drum and Bass, and Future Garage. And I think all that uploading and listening to all those different artists kind of sparked my interest for the genre. So I took a swing at it. Uh, I tried with a few different tracks. Uh, I'll just pull in the samples so you guys can get a general idea as to what you're going to get. So where the artist song parts, that's only a few elements from those tunes. These construction kits are 100% stemmed out. Uh, all the vocal elements that you're hearing, all the pads, drums, everything is going to be in these uh, folders. So the dry folder has all those elements without any processing or effects, and the wet is uh, with my vocal or with my processing and effects on them. 
So you've got all the samples that you hear, reverse cymbal, piano, vocal effects, the drums, crashes, everything. Uh, some various one shots and MIDI as well for like bass or piano. Um, I'll, I'll throw another one in there just to, to give you guys an idea. So I know I'm not, I'm not really the best at Future Garage, but hopefully these packs can uh, assist people, whether you know they're pulling the melodic elements from it, uh, the, the basses, the drums, whatever it may be. Uh, and then there's the drum and bass folder. Drum and bass folder has 12 kits. Um, obviously, I did spend more time in drum and bass. Um, so I'll just do the same thing, just pull some of the samples out to give you guys an idea. All the construction kits, whether it's drum and bass or Future Garage, they're going to be listed with their uh, BPM and their key. Various one shots, it's the exact same for the Future Garage ones. Uh, all the different things you're hearing, the pads, the pianos, the vocals, all that stuff is going to be in the pack. Fully stemmed out. So let's go ahead and uh, check out another one here. Really cool soulful vibes in this one. This is kit number five. Uh, we'll just drag one more in here. So all those elements that you're hearing, the piano, the, the vocals, everything's gonna be in there. All of these construction kits are 100% royalty free, so feel free to use any element from them uh, however much as you guys would like to, honestly. I'd hate for somebody to just, you know, release a sample. Uh, I mean, it is only half a tune, but you could easily just, you know, copy and paste it, but uh, technically you could do that if you really wanted to. You just wouldn't really learn a lot from that experience, but it's purely up to you guys. Um, and that goes for the breaks as well that I included in this uh, next folder, the drums folder. These are all bricks that I custom put together. Uh, some I even ripped from my uh, my tunes. So here's like the Ascension break, um, Continuity, Love Hurt, the Marcus break, Should I Confess, Tell Me How You Like It, the Bootleg, and a lot of great uh, great random breaks going on in this folder. So like I said, 100% royalty free to use all of these samples that are in the whole sample pack. Uh, some various one shots that we put together, kicks, rims, snares, uh, shuffle pieces. So you can you know make your own shuffles if you want. Uh, a couple symbol transitions. And then the folder here, stolen content. I named it sarcastically because me personally, I don't think that it's stolen content, but a lot of people view it as stolen. These are just the breaks that I sampled. Um, as I mentioned before, you can use them, don't have to purely up to you i'm not you know forcing anybody to use them but if you do use them you there's you know a lot of good stuff in here there's spectra soul silence groove Poland bryson maliki lsb lensman the list goes on so many so many good quality breaks to sample in here um i would i would highly recommend using them just to you know help fill out your drums and uh you know, there's a lot of opportunities for subtractive EQing. If you guys don't know what that is, uh, I can either make a video on it or you can, I'm sure there's video tutorials on YouTube about subtractive EQing. Uh, but it's a, it's a cool learning opportunity. You know, you're, you're, you're learning how to sample and you're learning how to do uh, specific EQ techniques. So uh, that's the stolen content folder. Uh, the next folder we got effects. There's only a handful of effects files. Uh, I don't really do a lot of sound design right now, but hopefully I can get more into it. If we do release more, uh, like this is only volume one, if we release more volumes in the future of this uh, Shrine sample pack, we'll uh, throw some more effect samples in there for you guys. Next is the massive bass presets. In uh, FL Studio, these are going to look like empty directories just because you can't really view presets and patches like that in the library. But if you just open it here... So there's some Reese's and some subs. I know that uh, Massive is kind of obsolete now. It's all about serum, you know, for bass synthesis, 
or trillion. But if you do still have massive on your hard drive, I highly recommend at least just checking out some of those, just clicking through them. Uh, they have a really cool sound. Uh, melodic, uh, there's uh, just various pads and piano loops in here. Um, some of them are listed at like 174 BPM or 140. But I mean, I honestly, you could use a sample at any BPM with stretching or reversing it, pitching it. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can do to manipulate a sample to sort of make it your own. Uh, next folder, MIDI arrangements. We've put together uh, 10 MIDIs. Um, most of them are just going to have bass and piano. Some of them might have like an extra C, like this one has a pluck arrangement as well. If we thought of a counter melody to go with the specific progression. Um, and that's really it for the whole pack. Uh, last folder here, unreleased goodie. It's just an unreleased tune that I never really got to releasing, obviously, because it's unreleased. Uh, it's called Feel the Dreams. Um, the story behind this tune is there's a movie, I don't know how old, maybe 15, 20 years old. It's called Field of Dreams, oddly enough. And uh, it's got Kevin Costner and it. it's, it's a baseball movie. I highly recommend watching it if you're, you know, into uh, like sports movies. But really cool, uh, really cool movie. The score for it's really cool as well. And I sampled one of the songs from the original score. And there's another song out there that somebody actually sampled the same piece that I did. Um, it's called, I think it's called Lake Escape. I don't remember who, I, I think it's Random Movement, but I, I, I don't want to misquote. I'm pretty sure it's Random Movement, but uh, I, I thought, you know, it'd be a really cool parting gift uh, with this really nice sample pack just to throw an unreleased uh, freebie for everybody. I might end up messaging Geo and he can upload it to Liquid DMB FTW. It's up to him, um, but I we are running a bit long in this video. That's the whole pack, thankfully. So we'll, uh, I'll just play this in the background as we close the video out. Uh, I guess one one last time I want to give a, a big shout out to Horizon High, who's now Everlong DMB. Go ahead and follow him. And Amaryllis, uh, they both helped me put all these elements together for the sample pack. Put a lot of time and effort into this, uh, you know, all the different elements. Um, so big shout out to them. Thank you guys for helping me put it together. Uh, I love the way that everything turned out. And hopefully if the response is good enough, we might end up putting out another volume in the future. Uh, but we'll see. Um, so uh, I guess that that's really it. I, I appreciate all the support from everybody that I've gotten. Um, I read through all the comments that I got on my farewell video on YouTube, and I, I do appreciate all the support that I received. Um, it just, you know, further further it proves the point that I mentioned that there are a lot of really cool people in the DMB scene, and I, I you know, 100%, I, I appreciate all of you guys, all the support. Um, so I guess the last thing, you guys have probably seen uh, all these graphics popping up on the screen that say the technician. Um, I ended up doing some rebranding on Twitch and created a new Twitch channel. Um, I, I got a new job working on a wind farm. I'm a field service technician, so that's sort of where I got the idea for the name. But um, this new Twitch channel is 100% gaming. Um, I'm not going to be producing on stream on this channel. Uh, on Monday, I do try to do a feedback stream though, so if you guys are still in, uh, in need of some feedback, feel free to come through on Mondays. I'll, uh, I'll drop the info for the for the new Twitch channel. The uh, I'll throw that in the description of the video in case anybody wants to follow and uh, come hang out. Um, but like I said, it's not going to be, you know, like the Alexander streams where I used to produce and, and all that stuff. It's only going to be for gaming. Um, but I guess with that being said, uh, that's pretty much the whole video. It's, it's running on almost 14 minutes now, so I, I'm going to end up cutting it here. Uh, thank you again to everybody who supported me. Um, if you guys have any feedback or comments about the sample pack, if you've already downloaded it, you know, hop in the comments. Let me know what you guys are thinking about it. Um, and depending on what the response is, we'll put another one together. Uh, so I guess that's it. Thank you guys for your time. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.